Good morning to everyone. Bezat Shem Minha is going to be at 8 p.m. Today is the 37th day of the Omer, which is five weeks and two days. Continuing in the Arachot of Muqtzeh, Chacham Ovadiyah talks about watches. Watches, Ovadiyah writes, is not called Muqtzeh, even though a watch, especially today's day's watches, has batteries in it. And you say the battery should be Muqtzeh, but the battery is part of a bigger instrument, and that whole instrument is used for something that is permissible, and therefore it is not muktzeh. It is true that Toshukhan Auch wrote that an hourglass that they used to use to measure time in the olden days, uh, they still have it around today, but it's more of a show thing. Uh, hourglasses, says the Shukhan Auch, is muktzeh. And the reason is because they would actually use the hourglass to measure hours. They would measure the sand itself. But a watch doesn't really measure. It's just something that it tells the time, but it doesn't measure sand. It doesn't measure... Like, uh, like an hourglass would, and therefore there is no problem of muktzeh. Now, Vajja extends this even to clocks that are on the walls, not just a, um, a wristwatch, but even a regular clock that you hang up on the wall, like we have around the Betagnesa people have in their homes, that is also not muktzeh. And the reason is because even though you put it in a specific place and you just leave it there, but nevertheless, the reason why you put it up is for beautification. It's also because of the fact that you are able to visibly see the time where you are in the house. So since that is the case, it is not in the category of muktzeh. Although there were some poskim that disagreed with this ruling, Hacham Uvadiyah held this way, and that is the halakha lemaaseh. Baruch Adonai Amen